If you use HubSpot, I want to show you an awesome new tool that has been created that allows you to create a button inside of HubSpot that you can create in the contact record, the deal record, the company record, or any object, and you can trigger automations based on the click of a button. So check this out. I'm in here in an example record. Normally, if I were to create a new deal, I would have to click the plus add a deal and then fill out all the information. A big frustration that I've had with HubSpot is that you can't format the the default name of a new deal and you've got to select your pipeline stages and all that who the deal owner is well what you can do here is you press a button and i've just created an automation using a tool called ply so when i refresh the new deal has been created over on the side, it's formatted in the format that I want. I've added today's date in a month, month, day, day, year, year format. I can select the deal stage. The close date has been auto added as 30 days from now. You can do a series of any other thing. It's basically like Zapier at the click of a button inside of HubSpot. If that's of interest, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Stick around and I'll step-by-step -step walk through how to set this up in your account. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I am the owner of Boolean Automation where we free you up to do what you love. We work with painting companies specifically. So I've got a course on automating your painting business, but we're putting out content around automation and no code tools and how to become more efficient. So if you're not a painter, you can still get value from my content. I'd love to chat with you. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. But if you are a painter, check out the Boolean website. And for anyone that runs a home service business or a business that depends on Google reviews, you might also consider checking out the Boolean review software, which is a fantastic reputation management tool to get more Google reviews online. All the links are down below. So check those out. Now let's get into this automation. So I'm going to go down into apply here, click new feature, and this is going to be an add-on. So we're going to make an add-on for HubSpot. I click on HubSpot. It's going to ask you to connect your HubSpot account. And because I'm already logged into my account, it should pull up this fairly quickly. We're going to use the HubSpot demo account. So we're gonna use the HubSpot demo account, go in and click connect app, and then choose the space that you want it in. All right, so on the save connection, it's really important to name the connection name, uh, which specific account you connected to. So in my case, I'm a HubSpot partner. I have many, many client accounts. So I'm gonna make sure that I know that, yes, I used my HubSpot email, but I need to distinguish which account I actually connected to. So I, in my case, I use the example HubSpot demo account and I'm saving it into the Boolean space. So I click save and then I can continue. And I want to add on a button in the contact section. So I do that. And now it's going to take me over to HubSpot where I can choose where I want that button to be. So I'm going to go into my account. It's telling me that I need to create the button. So I click OK. First, I need to get into the HubSpot demo account. And so once I'm into the demo account here, it tells me again, go to contacts and press that. So if you, you'll notice that the ply menu is blocking the, the nav bar in HubSpot. So I'm going to move this to the bottom. Then I'm going to go over to contacts. And then inside of contacts, I need to actually get to a contact record. And now it should bring up that dialog box. Click OK. And I'm going to press right here where I want that button to be. So I press the button and it says, what do you want the icon to look like? So in my case, because what I'm doing is I'm going to auto create deals. I'm going to press this and click the briefcase. And I'm going to do the briefcase that's a plus. And then I'm going to make it, you know, our Boolean red. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then this is going to be create a new deal. And we're going to save and open the builder. So you can uh, wait for the builder to load here, or you can press this button and it will take you into your apply workspace. And so I press the button and then it's going to get the information about the contact that I'm on. And so then I click the plus button. I'm going to go to, or I'm going to use HubSpot. And what I'm going to do here is create a deal. And the account that I'm going to be using again is the YouTube example demo account. And then because we got the context of the contact, I could go in here and say that I want it to be a last name and then first name. And then just to show some other potential use cases here, let's say before we create the deal, we want to also get the company that the contact is associated with and then include the company name. 
that would be another thing you could add a step here that's a HubSpot step to get the deal. They also just have utilities. So there is a, I believe it's a format time. So what I like using is this format a time. This one, you can just say that the date input is the date that this is run. In my case, I always like putting the date of the deal in the title. So we want to format the date as month, month, day, day, year, year, and we test. And then the output is one, 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 two, two, three. So that's perfect. And so this one, I'm just going to rename format current date as month, month, day, day, year, year. Always like naming these so they're super clear and obvious. Now in the create deal step, I can do the Skywalker Luke. I can take the output from the previous step that I just modified that, for, that date format, select that. And then if you wanted to also, you could, let's say that the contact or whoops, the deal owner, so in the previous step, I could get the contextual contact and now I'm looking for the owner. So the owner name is Chris Kiefer. And let's say that I want to, I always put the owner of the deal in here as well. So I can put that inside of parentheses, for example. Obviously I wouldn't know the amount, but let's say the deal stage, we have to go look at what the deal stages are or what they allow deal stages to be. So if I go in into this contact and look, I can add a deal to see what the deal stages that are allowable are. So I'm gonna do appointment scheduled. And so appointment scheduled, the pipeline would be sales pipeline, the close date. Another one, we could do a separate format date time. So if I do format, let's do add time, manipulate a date. So we're going to do this. The date input would be this runtime and it's going to be today. So let's say that we want to add, say our, if our average time that we want to add is 30 days, I can say days. And then the amount of time is going to be 30. So today's date is 11, 12. 30 days from now will be December 12th. So that's perfect. And then I can go to this create deal step again. And on my close date, I can take this step. Oh, and I always gotta forget to rename. So take today and add 30 days for close date. Uh, but you get the idea here. You can have fun with what else this does for you, but I can click take today and add 30 days. Um, and then the create date will be auto filled out. The deal owner, I could take the from the previous step so I could map data and say whoever the deal owner is of the contact is going to be the new deal owner. So I can go in and say owner. So the owner name is Chris Kiefer. And for the description, this is auto created. And we're going to test this. And it doesn't like that uh, the owner. Oh, so it's not going to accept Chris Kiefer as the deal owner. It needs the owner ID. So we can see if it does give us the owner ID here, owner, uh, and it does, HubSpot owner ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that instead of the name. Now we'll test this again. And it also does not like appointment scheduled is not a valid one. So let's go look in here. Appointment scheduled. So I wonder if I typed in the wrong. So actually, I think this again is an ID issue. So inside of HubSpot, the way we're gonna solve this is if you go to the settings. So in order to get the correct deal stage, you're gonna to go to the settings, go to objects, deals, and then under pipeline, we want to take this internal ID that is sometimes it's a number, sometimes it's a word. So we're gonna copy the internal ID and then imply we're going to paste in that internal ID instead of the user facing title. And so now it's saying pipeline sales pipeline does not contain the stage appointment scheduled. Um, what is going on here? Sales. So here we go. Once again, the name of the pipeline, the internal ID is default. So we have to actually put in default instead of the name of the pipeline. We're going to test again and it was successful. So we did create the deal, but if you go back and look at Luke Skywalker now, you'll notice there's no deal here. However, there is a deal that was created. It's just not associated yet. So if we look, here's the deal, but it's not associated to Luke Skywalker yet. So the very last step that we have to do is the association step in HubSpot. So we again are going to add a HubSpot step 
and this is going to be the association. So create or associate objects. And once again, we're going to use that same connection, click continue. And the from object type will be the contact. The to object type will be the deal. The association type is contact to deal. So the from object, which is our contact, we want to be we want to use map data. So we're going to get the contextual contact ID. And the ID is 101. And then the to object is the deal. So we're going to click map data. And then for the deal that was just created, we want to use that ID. So we go ahead and click test step. And let's go take a look now. So we go into the Luke Skywalker contact. And now that deal is associated and it is in the correct stage that we wanted. And that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and do one final thing. We're going to publish this. So um, we're going to turn on the I async publish. And now that it's published, I can go into my account here and I can go to any contact. So if I click on Brian Halligan, I can just select this uh, button that's here, create a new deal. You'll see that it's running, manipulates the time, creates a deal, associates the deal. And all you have to do is click refresh and there's the deal. It's super, super awesome. Um, in this case, because there was no, well, first of all, because it says sample contact, let's take out this so you can see that. And you also notice that there's just two parentheses. That's because there is no contact owner. If I have Chris Kiefer selected and save, now I go ahead and click create deal again. It's not going to say sample contact this time because it's just taking that contact name and it would also put in Chris Kiefer there. So hopefully that was valuable to you guys. And keep in mind that the part that's so awesome about this, you can add things like send an email, alert people. So I just showed very briefly how I can make a deal in a click as opposed to having to go through and fill out the information, select all the stages that I want and, and all that information. So pretty awesome. Hopefully this was valuable to you. If you are a painting company, I'd love to chat with you. You can schedule time on my calendar just to, if you've got any automation issues, no code things you want to talk about, feel free to grab a time. My name is Chris from Boolean, where we free you up to do what you love.